your excellency your audience audience your excellency Thank you very much. Let me thank you for the warm welcome you have given me uh, since my arrival here. I know that it's like a son who has come home. And um, my father always welcomes me with both hands. Um, I bring him greeting from his daughter, Lordina. She was here recently to visit her project at the witches' camp. Uh, she says that she hopes that if NDC wins the election, Parliament has passed the anti-witchcraft bill and it is awaiting the signature of the President. And if the President signs it, she will involve herself in how to rehabilitate the women back in their communities where they come from and so she said I should extend her regards to her father the Gambagarana. Uh, I want to thank you you so I'm bad ma ne ya bi nyong ya bi nkuna o kala sane nyong so go so na davron ya su pe davre na wansa wante pa na ko pa ya na ma so o lampo a kaya ne Onzango Opoa Lordina Mahama Opogo to the Gamba Dama Kayara Nena and Yiko Katicha Namna to Puakurala, no Puama Marvala Vari, one of Bangwa and Ningshim, Dates Army by Yakuli, the Parliament Dapun and pass a law and pass a bill to President Nessan Kaunabusanka, Amakepun sign and I. Be teacher na 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 yiko ni banambango upo anambango anirinsenti bete madema kabala bungulu baten semani kadarja biani kasuma sembiani lalaku ozangen njala. Today, what has brought us here is what we call the building Ghana tour. You know, this is an election year, and NDC is contesting uh, for the presidential and parliamentary. And so we're going to present a manifesto to the country. And the manifesto is a document that states what a government will do, a political party will do when it wins power and comes into government. And always before we publish that manifesto, we don't want to sit alone and write what we think the people of Ghana want. We want to go around and listen to what they actually want. And so we've gone to all the regions Northeast is the last region we are visiting before we finalize the manifesto and then we launch it in July this year. So, ne eh take your people people ni. Think your vote na ma partisan to kadol ni mbosi nso bagba na gbanse zal pansi si banti adina ma katuntum sisi anno ba katudol ma so one gen na ma o jene region de maza nto ante lumama de ma nto ante na de ma nto ante na che ma ka ba yel ba yo to amuksa ngonye shim ya to amuksa ma ya ya te zala kana book ma ne ndc book ma ne manifesto ma na ete tena sarala kan ma ku ya lakra ka go harantum tuma ma won region kanwa be na che ma ya ba bolangwa ba ngwa bolangwa la 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 ta bu ya to ama ya te la book ma ne kan ya te manifesto ma Zo mwenje nwa ujile gana za region pia na yubo ma ujile region pia na nu karakpan la north east region Dene nya mwenye nu zang nwa brempana wano dadama Ungu mye nu ni bangmarbe mbe nu sobra Banu sobe nu mbuku mani na yeti tina sarala un lakabe nu mpang tuma ma nwa yetu mshi And north east region we all know is one of the new regions and so there are a lot of issues that need to be resolved with regards to being a new region. In 2020, when I came here, I gave you a hint of some of the things we intend to do. NDC's policy is that every region of this country 
must have a regional hospital, it must have a public university campus, it must have a sports recreation facility like a sports stadium. Uh, <laughs> Better part of money. The Zugu now in Niti Yikola, Katina Nasara, the La Tabu Buni, I shifted the Ma, regional hospitals Ma, as I am many. The La Tabu Sports Stadium, the Ma, I am many. Pa Asuta, Sports Stadium, as I am many. University Dim in Yachana, Karijim Pala Pala Maza, and then it's the Jim Pala Mariato Amuksa, Yato Amuksa Mabupura, Ama Angokune Zanduli. Kuma ma mini yato apamna ni mbenya ni chana. Nizugu na iti tinasara angwa zanya la ayanengi. So I want to assure the Northeast region and all the five other new regions that uh, these are facilities that NDC has committed to provide when we come into office after 7 January 2025. Nerozoku, Oyazala, Zuna Yelene, Kanya Tabata, Nayet is in Nasara, Nemon Kalabu Seswa, a university, my public university, Region Palamaza or Nanga, I shifted them my region Palamaza or Nanga, and Yelatum and this is Zalapana, Nzia, Nayet is in Nasara, seven January, Udia Namla, Wunia Albarca Nia Karala, Unia Nama, and Yala Ayanangi. But there are also some projects that we were working on. When we were in government, before we left uh, after the 2016 uh, elections, and those were important projects which this government, the MPP ad administration, after they came into office, have abandoned. And as I've, you've heard me say, we're going to prioritise the completion of abandoned projects. One of them, if you remember, we started the, we, we, we built the road from Waliwali all the way to Nalirugu and our intention was to continue it to Bumpurugu and to Nakwanduri to join the Eastern Corridor Road. Unfortunately after we left the road has been abandoned. We also were building the new site for the Gambaga College of Education. Immediately we left office that project too has been abandoned and so when we come we'll continue the Gambaga College of Education. So, Ne enti ala habari ne na onyi ukoni ten endi sedema ngo mnye tunda la upapo amungo kupunyelka wanda pili tumshesi ka MPP dinchana zaha atumama ane yanya tumshesi ngo ya dangem pili tumana ite tena sara domi wula wanda ya segna mno urama le wa wa ala palwa inchana zaha na lirugun katun wala bungurugu ne kachanto ba isten korodo palela. Gambaga College of Education Yamaman Pumitin to Katopushim. One and that Paka Pili, Mpili Lala Tabu Campus Ma. Umaman Buchanga to Kasaha. Nda yatunuda masa unanchanga nya Enya nimfukuswa Mwanya mwambure dadam kachanya Gambaga College of Education Bampili kanza alisema eno kum Kumkuma nangba hai Domi mwani chana mpili buna Mwampili kala yeye nubu ya I'm sorry Mwabu yitu mwana Kachana meri sukuri ntete Kaya yitu mwana kachana nzaka Ya nzaka ma ubini cha sukuri ma Zuko yari chakan tu anjia ke kubo yala la ama mani yala kara. We also, we also will continue 
and finish the E block, the Community Day Secondary School we are building for the people of uh, Lengbinsi. We'll finish that project too. There are several other projects. Water, we're doing rural electrification. Where we reached with the rural electrification since then, this government has not added anything to it. And so we'll continue all those ongoing projects and we will complete them. Foundation. One of the major building blocks of our new economic policy is what I call the 24-hour economy. It is, it is a policy that will encourage business people, manufacturers, agricultural enterprises to operate 24 hours a day so that they can employ additional shifts because a lot of our young people have finished school and they cannot find work to do. And so if we get the existing industries, manufacturing businesses to operate round the clock so that they can produce for Ghana and also for exports, then they will be able to take additional hands to work for them. And a lot of our young people who currently don't have work to do will find work to do. Factory Ka Finally, all the six new regions are going to have a military barracks so that the Ghana army will be present in all the regions. In addition, we are going to form joint military and police anti armed robbery squads. And one of those squads will be here in the northeast to fight armed robbery. <laughs>